and today this is Lumi Tunes and I will be showing you how to make these pants charms. Along with this you might want to make a shirt charm which is on my channel. So let's get started. Today you will need a hook. I am using a metal tipped hook from the Rainbow and Web Store. You can use a plastic hook or a metal F or G crochet hook. You will need bands in whichever color you would like. I'm using this dark blue, I believe it is. Yes, dark blue opaque from the Rainbow Loom Web Store. You can use any off-brand. You cannot use any off-brand loom unless it can go in the square set position for this tutorial. If you don't know how to get it to the square set position, I will be showing you right now. So if yours is not in the square set position, it is most likely in the staggered configuration. So just pop this off and place it here so the pins are aligned. Now we can finally get started with our charm. First, you will want to take two rubber bands and place them going this way. Now do the same thing opposite and go down on all three pins. I'm trying to do this a bit faster paced so it's not a lengthy tutorial because I have a lot of lengthy tutorials and for you fast loomers so you guys don't have to go really slow. And now go down one more time on all three. And now we will go down three times. We're using double bands for this whole process. If you didn't see that, sorry about that. I did not tell you that. So go down. If you're a beginner loomer, then you might just want to pause and replay these this video so you won't be rushing and not knowing if you're doing it correctly. I apologize for that. And so now, once you have your loom like this, you might want to pause the video to see if this is correct. If it is not, you might want to start over, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal because this is a pretty small charm. Now, you will want to take a rubber band, twist it to form an eight, and form it into this double loop band. If you can hear that upstairs, that's my dad, sorry. Sorry that the camera is moving. Okay, so like that, that is pretty stressful. So just twist it around and do the same thing. So that is pretty much it for the triangular bands. They are not really triangular, it's just, it looks like a triangle when you're doing it in the offset position. I'll be placing the cap bands for the, t uh, the pants. So take a rubber band and wrap it around this three times. I am going a bit faster because I have to leave somewhere safe. So do it on the other side too. Okay, and now we can start the hooking process. Go under the cap band, grab the two bands, pull forward and do a single chain. And more like a double single bracelet, but just then go forward all the way there. Now do it here. Just grab these two. Go here, go under these, go there, and do the same thing on the other side. Just grab them, go forward, and if this does this, it's fine. And just keep on going forward like the other one. And now you will, will want to go pull these into the center 
and now we will slip knot it off. So take a blue, dark blue rubber band or whatever you're using. I'm using dark blue because it kind of like jeans. Pull it through. Whoops. Sorry about this. Okay, so like so. Now pull it over. Do that. Now take this off the link. Just, I'm using my hook to release the stress on the bands. Now as you can see, this is pretty stressed. So, there is your pants. You will want to kind of push these up because they're really baggy. I must see myself. And that was just, because I'm filming in the basement, that's just the reason that happened. So thank you for watching this. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I have something to show you. In honor of getting 200 followers on Instagram, which is at Tunes underscore if you want to check that out, something big is coming. I am making this rainbow loom. Olaf. This is the start of it. It's really complicated, but I'm going to have a vid t video up to describe it and stuff once it is finished. So, bye!